Hello fellow sim racers, this is Sim Racer and welcome to another episode. This one is Automobilista 2 and the release of Hockenheim. So Hockenheim, uh, we, we got a bit of a surprise that uh, we have seven layouts for Hockenheim. The Hockenheim Historic 1977. Historic 1988, the Historic 2001, and now your current various layouts with Hockenheim Short B, Hockenheim Short A, and then of course the full International Grand Prix Hockenheim National. I thought it would be kind of interesting and fun to just go ahead and to record my first outings on two of the layouts. Quick three lap races. Uh, the first one is on the Hockenheim International and then the other one is on the 1977 Hockenheim Historic. And I'm going to use the retro Formula Retro V8, one of my favorite cars in Automobilista 2, as my choice of a racing vehicle. So we're going to load up the uh, first one, which is the Hockenheim International Grand Prix, and we're going to do it from the cockpit. And we're off and running, and we're going to do a lap, a little about a lap and a quarter uh, from the cockpit view, and then we're going to switch to uh, the trackside view for a lap and a, uh, about a lap and a quarter. Now, I have a little bit of experience so with the uh, layout, uh, thanks to Project Cars 2. However, what we are doing right here, this is my very first experience with racing on the Automobilista 2 release of Hockenheim. Now, if you own Automobilista 2 prior to the release, and the release was on July 24th, you get the track for free. Now, if you do not own Automobilista 2 and you purchase Automobilista 2, which if you, oh, oh that's not good. And that contact, by the way, uh, did uh, mess up my steering a little bit, uh, which didn't help as I make my first official lap of the Hockenheim ring. So where was I? Oh yeah, and um, so if you do purchase Automobilista 2, which I have recommended for sim racers to do, uh, and you're going to purchase it in the next day or several days, you're going to have to buy the DLC Hockenheim pack. And I don't know the price, I didn't bother to look it up because I own Automobilist 2 and it was a free download for myself along with everyone else who of course has the track. So uh, graphics are good. Uh, I like the way that uh, the car goes around the track. Um, I can see myself spending quite a few hours in various sim racing vehicles on this track it's going to be a lot of fun and eventually I don't know how long that eventually now here we are as we go to the trackside view of one and a quarter laps approximately that uh, eventually I will uh, try some uh, multiplayer racing I hear that Honorable Blissa 2 is working steadily on uh, bringing us multiplayer racing. They're, they're working on improving it, on improving it, enhancing it uh, for the player. My assumption is is that they are going to be uh, making it a bit easier um, 
I'm more intuitive to be able to find multiplayer races, to enter a multiplayer race, and to race live opponents. Oh boy, that was, that was not a very smart move, but uh, a little crunch in there and away we go. So once again, I think the graphics are very, very well done. Uh, and I think that uh, there's really no negatives in this release for the Hockenheim track and for its various layouts. So enjoy this as we wrap this up. And then in, uh, uh, as soon as we complete this, we will go to the historic 1977 layout. And the historic layout, as I trade uh, wheel contact there with a fellow competitor, I uh, like the historic layout of Hockenheim a great deal. Uh, it's basically three or maybe four, I don't know, uh, long straights with a couple of turns thrown in to connect the long straights. And uh, it reminds me a lot of the Interlagos historic uh, track, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, the Interlagos historic track just has a wonderful feel and a wonderful flow to it. And similarly, I feel that the Hockenheim historic 1977 track has that same type of flow. So here we are, we're going to switch from the Grand Prix International and fire up the Hockenheim Historic 1977 layout and we're going to do the same thing here where we're going to make uh, a little over one lap from the cockpit view and then we'll follow that up with a lap from the trackside view. And I'm also thinking about doing a, another quick video on this. I think Automobilista 2 may have surprised iRacing with uh, the release and delivery of this track. Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that iRacing uh, two days ago announced that they would be bringing Hockenheim to iRacing. But we can discuss that later in, in the next in an upcoming video as here we are we're on the uh, historic 1977 layout I really like the uh, the historic layouts and I think that uh, for iRacing they kind of put themselves in a box uh, 10 years ago <laughs> when they they opted to do uh, license only tracks where they would laser scan the tracks uh, a huge selling point obviously for iRacing but I've long been uh, a proponent of having iRacing build uh, historic tracks to go back and to give us historic tracks especially Spa and um, uh, historic Le Mans historic Hockenheim, uh, the historic tracks, they offer so much. And uh, just like here, it's just, it's for me, the, the Hockenheim ring in, in 1977 was just these, these long straights where you got just flying and uh, they'd throw in like here as you came to slow you down a bit give you another nice straight to just flat out haul. I personally enjoy uh, the uh, uh, historic layout uh, a great deal. Well obviously I'm uh, pretty doggone slow uh, as I, uh, I do need to uh, learn the track so that I can be a little bit more competitive with the AI and I'm also thinking about doing a video uh, to uh, on the AI of 
um, automobilista because I, at first, I, I kind of was thinking that the AI might not be that good. I'm finding out that, to the contrary, that the AI in Automobilista 2 is, in my opinion, a very, very good AI. Yeah, again, for another day in another video. And here we are, we're at the trackside view of Hockenheim 1977 historic layout. So, um, I guess I'm starting to become a bit of a fanboy for Automobilista 2. I'm really, really enjoying the sim, uh, and I highly recommend that if you don't have Automobilista 2, get it. You're going to find multiple cars and multiple tracks that you're just going to enjoy racing on. And um, get yourself the Hockenheim DLC pack. I think that uh, it's well worth uh, whatever it is they're charging. I haven't, haven't seen, but you're going to spend uh, multiple time and multiple hours at the Hockenheim ring. Hey, this is Sim Racer, and as always, enjoy your Sim Racing pursuits, and uh, if you like these videos, go ahead and, you know, do the subscribe thing, hit the like, hit the bell notification, and all that stuff. So in the meantime, we'll finish up with this uh, lap at the historic Hockenheim 1977 layout and we will see you in the next video and again thank you for watching